Back when I was young, I used to love playing these text-based adventure games. And these were games that required you to pick up items and combine them in interesting ways to solve puzzles that were in the game. And these games, because they were so early, didn't really have a graphical user interface. They were really just based on text. Now, I found an example of one such game. There's a website called textadventures.co.uk, and this game called Zork was very popular on it. And it's a nice example of how these games used to work. So for example, as you read what's on this play here, you can see that there's apparently an open field west of a white house with a boarded front door. And what I can do now is I can type and interact with this environment. I could, for example, say, hey, could you just look at the house? What I can also try to do is try to open the door. Since the door can't be open, I might just have a look at the mailbox instead. I can try to open the mailbox. And apparently there's a small leaflet. And what I could do is I can say, hey, let's try to pick up this small leaflet. And I hope it's clear that the idea behind these games was that you would pick up items that you would use later, and that you would explore and interact this virtual world using only text. Now these kinds of games have had their impact on me when I was young. I found it kind of magical how you could interact with an environment and get something to talk back to you. And now, a few years later, I work at Raza. And it got me thinking, can we implement something like a text-based adventure game using the technology that we're making here? I figured it'd be a very interesting learning experience because we should be able to make one, but in order to do so, we might need to touch on some advanced features of our technology stack. It would sure be interesting to see, though, what the technology stack from Raza might offer to this genre of games. So that's why I decided to make a text-based adventure game in Raza. It's called Breakout Bot. And the goal of this project is to write an adventure game using Raza, where you'll need to figure out a way to escape from a room. The project will be open source, which means that you're totally free to clone the repository and join the fun. But what I will also do is I will document any lessons learned as I implement this adventure game. What I'll also do is I'll make short videos that explain some of the Raza tools that I'm using, but I also want to highlight some of the milestones of the project, which means that I might also highlight some of the community contributions. I will release these videos in seasons where the idea is that every season represents a major theme or a milestone of the project. The goal that I have for this season, season one, is to get started with the project and implement a basic demo. As far as the story goes, I should keep things basic. But what I'll do is I'll implement some sort of a room. And this room will have a bunch of objects that you can interact with. There's going to be a window, a door, as well as a box of items. And the idea is that this box of items will have a key, and maybe some other item as well, a poster or something silly. But the goal of this season is to implement this basic room such that we can iterate from there. And just this room already has a couple of interesting aspects to it. For starters, I will need to think about how I want to implement an inventory system inside of Raza. After all, if you want to use the key that is in this box on this door, then you first need to pick it up and have it in your inventory. Another thing that I'm interested in exploring is what we can do conversation-wise to make this experience just very fun. Sure, there's going to be functional elements to this experience, but the end goal is to have people play this game and have a good time. Related to this, I will also be interested in thinking about how we can use the machine learning features of Raza to make this a better experience, but I also need to think about how I want to test this. I want this adventure game to be demoable as quickly as possible, such that I can get feedback early. Having set all of this, I hope you're as excited as I am to create this. So let's get started.